back here on TV 18. Thanks for hanging out with us. Big thanks to Cooper Creek Square, where our studio is here, but they have 20 plus restaurants and shops still open seven days a week. Come check them out. Some good happy hours if it's still sunny on the deck. Um, come look at the new fall stuff and soon to be winter stuff. Great Halloween party Saturday. October 29th. Uh, this is our last show here on TV 18 this summer. So um, go check them out in a month because it's just right around the corner is Halloween. Um, but lots of things. You can check them out online. CooperCreekSquare.com maybe is their website or it's flashing here below on the screen. So lots of things to do still here at Cooper Creek Square Trick or Treat on that day, the 29th. Um, we're here with some lovely ladies um, talking about Headwaters Trail Alliance, Mira and um, Erica, you guys work for the, the organization. And then Diana Lynn, you're just a huge supporter of, of it. So thank you all for being here. Um, trails really is what it comes down to, right? And how it connects our community and what that looks like. So um, do you guys have some favorites? Do you like to bike, hike? What do you do on the trails? Well, we. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we do lots of different uh, modalities of recreation yeah. on the trails. I mean, my favorite is mountain biking, okay. hiking and backpacking, okay. and trail running. In the past, Erica, I think uh, camping and hiking probably yeah. are my favorites. Okay. So wilderness okay. areas. Yeah. Do you have some favorite areas? Um, I really like Columbine and um, Devil's Thumb. Okay. Trail, I think, are some of my favorites. Yeah, and so. hike, camp, put your stuff on your backpack and go. And Absolutely. Cool. Bring the dogs. Yeah. And yeah. Take the dog. Take the That's dog. the biggest yeah. thing. You yep. can yeah. take your dog yep. with Very you. Very cool. Very cool. And Diana Lynn, you, you're all around trails all the time, right? Well, yeah, considering we wrote the grants for the Fraser to Granby and yeah. we helped put in most of that and stuff. But I'm, you can find me anytime on the yeah. trail between Granby and Winter Park. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. And thousands of miles, so things for everyone to do and... Yeah, um, we have motorized, non-motorized, yeah. wilderness areas, non-mechanized tr travel. You can do it all here in Grand County. And winter. And winter. And winter. Right, which is right around the corner. Yeah. So cross country and all that stuff. Um, how do people find out about what they can do on every trail? Uh, there are a couple of different um, options for people who are looking okay. for trail-specific recreation. They can come to our website that has an interactive map. They can also awesome. go to the Chamber websites. Cool. They can call us. They can come by our office in Fraser, and okay. we can walk them through different areas, different recreational opportunities. Cool. You know, with all of the reservoirs and rivers and trails, there's all kinds of things to do, and oftentimes visitors need a little bit of direction to yes. kind of get started. Yes. So we really where to park and what, what where's the trailhead right. and yeah. And, and the winter regulations park, are for wilderness. The Winter okay. Park Fraser Chamber even has maps that you can download Perfect. right off of their website. Cool, so lots of resources to find. Um, the biggest thing is get out there and go explore something new and Absolutely. all that stuff. Tell me what it's like to maintain all of those areas <laughs> and all of those miles. Uh, it's a daunting task, yeah. to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm thankful that I have, you know, huge trail advocates yeah. and volunteers. Um, the organization really, um, budgetarily, you know, we, we receive uh, support from the county and from the municipalities okay. and from some private donors and also some grants. But um, the, our budget is, is doubled, if not tripled, by volunteer labor and donations. Yeah. Yeah. So without the support of people like Diana Lynn and all the volunteers that right. Erica engages, right. we wouldn't really be able to maintain a fraction of what we are able to do. Right. So we work with Rocky Mountain National Park, we work with the Bureau of Land okay. Management, okay. with the U.S. Forest Service, um, we work in the wilderness areas, we're all over the place right. um, trying to help with projects and have people who adopt trails um, go out and do projects independently or with us. Yeah. So the goal is that you know we have about 2,500 volunteer hours wow. each summer. Wow. So it's a lot. We really have a great community for that because everybody loves trails up here. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it's really a treat to get to work with the community and everyone likes to get involved and be out there outside and yeah. uh, good camaraderie. So yeah, it's really cool. fun. Good. So. And do you know how good a feeling it is to look at a section of trail and say, I helped fix that yeah. or I help right. build it. Right. Especially if they're out on that trail every day or mm -hmm. whatever. The following year like. they can yeah. go back and yeah. look at yeah. it. Yeah. That's awesome. Tell me big picture wise, you said that we, we have a plan in place for some new things or some new things just got finished. What does that look like? Because the county's so vast. Yes. <laughs> Bigger than Rhode Island. Yes. <laughs> so we had to break it down into, you know, kind of um, palatable chunks, if you will. Okay. So we started in the Fraser Valley because there were so many social trails or rogue trails, okay. kind of uh, user created trails being um, developed. And so we started in that area to try to really get a handle on 
what the trail users were wanting yeah. and working with you know the, uh, a concentrated network of trails to start with and okay. with mountain bike capital usa it kind of made sense to start in this area so um, we developed a plan for this area that also incorporated a strategic trails plan for the organization okay. to grow in capacity over time cool. and then now what we need to do is go look at the Grand Lake, Granby area, and then also everything that's west of Halt Salt for Springs right, and right. that area, and then incorporate those into this bigger strategic trails plan. Yeah. So it covers everything from trail development and connectors to making the trails more sustainable to um, strategic partnerships and yeah. collaborating more with all the entities. Like one of the most impressive things that came out of the strategic trails plan is that quarterly we reach out to the community and have stakeholders and federal agencies and municipalities and anybody who has a special interest in trails oh. and outdoor recreation come to the table and we discuss okay. issues. Okay. So it's a couple hour round table discussion where you mm -hmm. can put a name to a face and right. figure out how to network, how to strategize, how to problem right. solve. Right. So that's been really helpful. Very cool. And you said this, but we're really bigger than Rhode Island? We really are. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. And a huge percentage of public land. Yes. yes. Almost 80%. Right. Yes. Okay. So lots yeah. of things to for you guys to maintain and for us to develop in a natural way and, and how people can use that. And so. think about the fact that the governments always have their budgets cut. Right. And cut. <laughs> and cut. We yeah. never have more. We always have it cut. So we have to take up the slack. Yeah. 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 Okay, we're going to take another quick break. Um, we're going to come back and talk about National Public Lands Day and how you can get involved in volunteering. Um, website again for you guys? Headwaterstrails.org. Perfect. Headwaters Trails. Headwater. Plural? Plural. Headwaters trails.org go check them out um explore thousands of miles of trails and what you want to do there and we'll be back talking about things we're bigger than rhode island <laughs> who knew you said it who knew? <laughs>